So this just arrived today. It's a Rode Lavalier Go. And I'm super excited because I think this is finally the microphone that I'm after. I've been using this excellent Rode video microphone for a very long time and I'm very happy with this. But as a YouTuber, what I really want to achieve is a less roomy sound. What I'm gonna do during the course of this video is to show you the difference between this microphone here and this new one, the Rode Lavalier. It basically means one that you wear on your lapel. Okay, so the idea is that rather than using a directional shotgun type microphone, which I'm used to, I wanna get one that's a bit closer to the source of the sound. And by having it here on my lapel, that's hopefully gonna give a crisper, cleaner sound, which is picking up less of the sound of the room, okay? Uh, that's what I'm intending will happen. Haven't used it yet, literally haven't even got it out of its box. It's right here, and we're gonna uh, have a little play and have hopefully have some fun with this now. So without further ado, let's unbox it, and then let's do a test. So here we go, the Rode Lavalier Go, and this is a microphone that I've been wanting for a little while. Uh, it's obviously it's Rode. We all know Rode is great quality, uh, an industry leader in microphones, in pro microphones, uh, and uh, yeah, I'm really pleased to get my hands on this. Now, as I say, hopefully it will give me the close mic type uh, sound that I'm after, uh, and I'd love to. I'd love you to tell me in the comments whether you think it's achieved that goal. Uh, so without further ado, let's just uh, unbox this baby. Now, just so you know, uh, the links to all the equipment that I've used to make this video are in the description below, uh, including the camera, which is my Sony ZV-1. And incidentally, that's the microphone that I'm using right now, the onboard ZV-1 camera and we're going to do a comparison in a minute or two um, as well as my Google Pixel 7 Pro which is the other camera that I'm using for the side shot of the talking head. So let's open this then. What do we get inside? Okay. I'm doing a terrible job at unboxing this, I tell you. Hopefully I won't have to send this back. The box is uh, is ruined, uh, and my intention is I'm not going to uh, take this back. So nice little picture on the front. Let's see. Oh, I love. Straight away, that feels like a nice quality little uh, pouch to carry the microphone around in. It's very nice. It does feel like real quality, like real leather or what have you. And um, it probably isn't. Although it kind of smells like leather. Let's see. Uh, okay. And that, that is it. That's very, very discreet looking little microphone, isn't it? Okay. Okie doke, so what have we got in here? So let's just discard with the bag for a minute. And it's pretty, very simple. We've got the actual mic here on one end. Uh, this, does this come off? Don't want to, surely this comes off. There we go, so that comes off, and that's what you get. That's a teeny tiny little lapel mic, very discreet. And this is your, uh, this is your little thing of which the name escapes me. <laughs> you can tell I'm a professional, can't you? It's called a pop shield, that's what it's called, it's called a pop shield. Now at the other end is this, which is quite fundamental. You see this is a TRS connection. Now that's different from what you would need for a mobile phone, which is a TRRS. So here we have the tip here, yeah? And then we've got two little black lines. And in between those, that's the ring. So you have a tip, ring, and sleeve. Okay, now for a mobile phone, you actually have two rings. So it's rather than being a TRS, it's a TRRS. But I want this one because I want to use it with my Sony ZV-1 vlogging camera, which requires a TRS connection. Okay, and then also, as well as the mic itself, we've got this little clip here, which uh, obviously enables that to clip to the lapel. And here we 
here we go. Let's just get this baby out. I'm really, really going to be interested to see what this sounds like. And I'd love to hear in the comments below, to see in the comments below, which you think sounds like the best microphone. We're going to compare three. We're going to compare the camera itself. Oh yeah, and then we've just got the classic packaging. Keep it all dry, all that stuff. Uh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, so we're going to compare the camera mic and we're going to compare the uh, the shotgun, the shot uh, directional road video micro mic, which is an excellent microphone in itself. I mean, the ZV-1 on board one isn't bad. And we're also going to compare this new lapel Lavalier mic, the Rode Lavalier Go. So let's do it now. Let's do the test. Okay, so the first sound test is going to be on the microphone which is on board the Sony ZV-1 which I'm currently filming with which I'm looking at my Pixel Pro 7 is to my right but we're just getting the video from that we're not getting the audio so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a count of 10 as a reference point and we're going to compare my count of 10 with each different microphone so here we go this is with the Sony ZV-1 onboard mic one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So what do you think? Which one do you think sounded the best? I'm hoping that the lapel mic is doing the job and that this one sounds the best. I won't know until I edit this video, so uh, it's gonna be quite exciting finding out. I hope it sounds good. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like I say, everything that I've used to film this video is in the description below. If there's any of this kit that you'd like to buy for yourself, uh, feel free to click on one of those links. Okay, all the best. Bye-bye.